Hello, hello, you guys. Welcome to Empower Wives Power Hour. Empower Wives Power Hour is a transformative broadcast dedicated to equipping wives with invaluable insights for their spiritual and personal development. Through our engaging content, we strive to empower women to become powerful and confident wives, offering them essential information that will ignite positive transformation in their lives. Once again, you guys, welcome to Empower Wives Power Hour. I'm glad to be on here to talk to you guys for another powerful hour. Before I get into that, I want to just say, you know, thank you guys, those of you who have been, uh, you know, rocking with this channel for the past year. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm encouraged, you know, to keep going on, to keep coming on here because so many of you have been messaging me and just saying, Meltoria, you know, your, your broadcast, your channel, your videos have been a blessing to me. Um, that is so encouraging you guys. And so thank you guys for rocking with me over the past couple of years. I know some of you guys have just subscribed to my channel within the last couple of months within the last year but I know there are some of you who have been following me for a while and so I'm so honored I'm so honored to be positioned into a place where I can be um, a, va a, a vessel or a voice that you guys can trust and listen to through this journey of your life so listen here you guys we are getting ready to wrap up this 2023 and we're going into 2024 and I am believing God for a powerful move among you women and let me tell you something uh just yesterday um I posted I posted 2024 let's grow Okay, 2024, let's grow. I believe that 2024 is going to be a time that many of you have that turning point in your spiritual life, in your spiritual development, because I know that you're just, you know, tired, tired of running in circles. Um, you're, you, you're ready to just be in a place, in a position where, you know, you hear God. I know that you're ready to be in that place, in that position where you're confident in your prayer life, you're fasting, you know, all things spiritual i know i feel it people have been messaging me and so listen here let's grow forward okay and so 2024 you guys is going to be a year where we grow okay so if you are a part of the empowering wives community if you listen because it's just been a blessing to you you can look forward to some real um content that is going to help you grow in the months to come i believe that as we say with our Empower Wise Power Hour, we want to equip wives with invalu invaluable insights for their spiritual and personal development so that we can empower you to become powerful and confident wives. You guys, so listen here, be on the lookout. We have some amazing things coming up. Um, so as we get into that, of course, you guys know, if you have not booked your Power Hour consultation as yet, remember that it's still available. I will equip you with the tools and insights necessary to overcome obstacles, look at your personal challenges, and give you practical strategies to help you navigate and give you a roadmap that will help you to be effective as you strive for personal development, spiritual growth, and success in your marriage, in your spiritual life, and in your family. Family. So listen here, you guys, if you haven't scheduled that already, go ahead and schedule that. Also, you guys, you all already know, I still got my cosmetic line that I'm still building. So make sure you guys check it out, classycolors.com. So today I want to do a couple of things. A couple of things that I want to do today. First of all, I want to introduce you guys to our Empowered Women Spiritual Growth Mentorship Program that is coming up um, in January. Some of you guys were a part of my mentorship program, uh, I think, last year. 
we the reason why I stopped because I was dealing with health challenges so I paused from my mentorship group to you know focus on my health to deal with that for a moment and so I really wasn't sure if I was going to start the mentorship program again um, a lot of people have been asking me about it people have been emailing me and I and I really said that I wasn't going to do it um, but, but here is something that really, uh, really sparked me. Like I was reading a book and the book was talking about the, the importance of, uh, a community, right? A community that uh, provides accountability to help you stay on track with goals, you know, to help you to achieve things that you want to achieve. And then I started to reflect on the mentorship program that I've been doing for the past couple of years. You know, a lot of people always told me, Meltoria, this was so amazing. Um, I'm so happy to be a part of the group. And, and I realized that, wow, this was something that was really helping a lot of people. So I don't want to stop it. I know it's going to be, you know, a, a challenge getting it up and going again, because, you know, I already had, you know, a, a group of wi a women that were a part of it. And so I know it's going to be a challenge getting it back up and running again, but, but I'm, I'm up for the challenge because I want to reach and I want to touch and I want to help the women out there who want to grow spiritually, who want to walk in their purpose, who want to, you know, move with power and demonstration of the spirit of the Lord. And even as I began to reflect on that, the previous night, someone messaged me and asked me about, you know, mentorship program. And I did say, Hey, I'm not doing it, but throughout the day, I really began to think about it and, you know, so much amazing ideas become to started to come to mind and I started to, you know, plot it out and I was like, wow, this is going to be amazing. So 2024, you guys, we're going to be doing um, empowered women mentorship program it is a unique and transformative initiative that i have designed exclusively for women who seek to enhance their spiritual well-being so this program is going to aim to empower women now i say empower women you guys because i know that a lot of people you know start with empower wives for the purpose of you know building or fighting for their marriage but but i want to to really tap you know just just be out there for women not just who are going through in their marriage but also want to say well Meltoria, i need you to help me to grow closer to the lord i need you to help me you know in my spirit man i need to be in a better place or position in my prayer life you know so i want to be able to you know still reach them because i know a lot of people when they you know start off with me and then things don't go well in a marriage then it's all of a sudden you know i don't want nothing to do with you anymore <laughs> it's just true okay that's that's how it is so this program aims to empower women by guiding them towards deeper understanding of who god created them to be their spiritual journey and fostering personal growth in alignment with kingdom beliefs and values through a combination you guys of insight insightful mentoring structured training and mutual accountability the mentorship program is going to offer a nurturing and supportive environment for women to flourish spiritually um another another powerful testimony um that i taught i posted on my youtube community i talked about how you know a lot of people have placed me in a box right so i talked about that just a second ago a lot of people have placed me in the in a box right in 2024 i ain't i ain't operating within that box that i have been placed in okay so a lot of you know the the place and the position i'm going to be coming from in 2024 is of course many of you know that i am a prophet of the lord you know, I've been, I've been sent to be a prophetic voice. So I am going to be exercising or operating a lot in that capacity because I understand that even as I enter into, you know, coaching and consulting that, that prophetic mantle still, you know, that bursts forward and, you know, the prophetic vision that God has for a lot of people come forth. So I'm going to make sure that I exercise that a lot because there are so many women that came to me for help in their marriage in their family but you know they have been given the prophetic thrust that really catapult them into their destiny and divine purpose and doing the things that god has called them to do you know operating in power and authority so i'm going to make sure 
that through my mentorship program this upcoming year, January beginning, we are going to start January 2024, that we are going to be um, really, really help. Listen here, practical stuff. One thing that people will tell you if anybody want to comment, I give you practical tools that you can go ahead and exercise and, and, and you could go ahead and execute the that really is going to cause you to grow. Okay. So it ain't going to be missing that. I'm going to post a link in the description of this video for those of you who want to join the mentorship. It's, and it's only going to be $19.99 a month, you guys. Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be very minimal cost, but you, you're going to have to do the work, okay? Do the work. If you if you really want to grow in 24 and 2024, if you really want to rise in 2024, if you want your spirit man to, you know, to be the giant that God has called you to be, let me tell you something. Come and be a part of that, okay? Anyhow, so today, you guys, I'm, I'm going to talk on, someone asked me a question a couple, probably about a month ago, and I've really been pondering on that. You know, I talked about, and most of the couple of videos that I've been de dealing with has been along the lines of, you know, deliverance, right? And I wanted to focus on deliverance for the last, you know, few sessions that we have now in 2023, because I believe that as we go into the next level, into the next move of God, that we're going to have to deal with the issues that we have within. And someone asked me, Meltaria, how do you focus? How do you get focus on, you know, the things of God? How do you get, you know, take your mind off of what you're going through um, to be able to position yourself to grow? And so I've really been pondering on that for a while because, you know, it's hard to give a shotgun answer when there are, you know, a lot of steps and, you know, it's kind of complicated. So today I'm going to really, um, first of all, give like a, a first step into the journey of focusing and really evaluating your position yourself so that you can position yourself for the growth that is necessary. Okay. So what do you have to do? First of all, you have to do a search within, right? And, and one thing that I call it, I call it a soul check, right? And the beginning of every year or at the end of every year, this is something I've personally been doing from about 2013. Uh, you guys know when I talked about, you know, Lord, if, if, this can, if you can't fix it, it cannot be fixed and I will be okay with it. And the Lord began to open my eyes um, when I began to read, you know, the book Pigs in a Parlor. So after I've been introduced to that, you know, realm of information and knowledge, I make sure that I'm always doing a soul check, right? Soul check is a process of deliverance that you use to examine yourself to ensure that no demonic influence is at work in you. And let me tell you some, let me tell you guys why this is important. I, I think, I think it's in. It's in the book, The Pigs in a Parlor, where the author said, you have to trust someone more than you trust yourself. That really gave me, an, that, that really, really is an eye opener for me because you can be deceived right? You can think that you're doing the right thing, hearing the right thing and seeing the right thing, but be very, very wrong, right? And, and this is how the the enemy can work within us especially people who are what i call like spiritually in tune or people who consider themselves spiritually awake right you have you're in this place in a position where you hear from the lord you see um uh, you see things but then listen here you do not take the time out to really govern or or manage your soul where the enemy creeps in Right. And so, and so this can cause deception within yourself. If you do not always evaluate your soul. Right. So I have used the term before self-deliverance. 
self-deliverance. And of course, this is something that, you know, I've taught about and, and, and did a couple of master classes. I still have the courses available self to, to, to really teach people how to do self-deliverance because it's important. You're not always going to have the opportunity to, you know, be in the presence of a deliverance minutes minister a lot of times people many of you are in places or communities that there are no organizations or ministry that does deliverance but you need it so what do you do you have to begin that process of doing self-deliverance okay philippians 12 and 2 says this it says therefore my dear friends as you have always obeyed not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Okay? Salvation is translated from the Greek word soteria, which means deliverance, preservation, safety, salvation. Deliverance from molestation of enemies, in an ethical sense, that which concludes to the soul's safety or salvation. In Philippians, the Apostle Paul tells us that your deliverance is for you to work out with urgency, right? It is your responsibility, and this is where self-deliverance comes in. When doing self-deliverance, you have to remember that you are praying for yourself. You need to know that this is a spiritual warfare. That means when you address the demonic spirit on the inside of you to cast it out, you're not talking to yourself. You are, in fact, talking to a spiritual being that is on the inside of you that has come to kill, steal, and to destroy you. John 10 and 10 tells us that the thief comes but to kill, to steal, and to destroy Okay, so you want to keep this in mind. You want to do this with such urgency because you're dealing with something that wants to kill you, wants to destroy you. It wants to take you down. So what exactly is deliverance? Deliverance is the act of being liberated from anything that has you in bondage. Sickness often can be tied to a demon. Fear can be tied to a demon. Lack can be tied to a demon and getting rid of these things brings healing brings good health it brings joy it brings focus and so much other things so deliverance can be defined as the compassion of the lord jesus christ demonstrable in confronting the powers of evil and wicked spirits imprisoning affected and suffering souls now Keep this in mind, right? Or pay attention to this. Demonstrable in confronting the powers of evil and wicked spirits, imprisoning affected and suffering souls. So when you are in a place and position where you're, you know, suffering, hurt, pain, you know, this is, this is what opens the door for demonic spirits to come in and basically what the enemy tries to do is while you're down keep you down so many of you will find that you're already dealing with issues in your marriage right and then all of a sudden you know you have the issues in your marriage and you have a financial issues some of you have health issues you have issues in you know with your family i mean it's like Anybody can anybody feel like they can't catch a break because so many things it seems as if it's going wrong. So any soul that's under direct or indirect influence of the wilds of the demonic or satanic spirits are victims of such wicked and merciless powers. But it is our it is my hope, it is my aim, it is my goal that this information empowers you to, to no longer be a victim, but be a victor. Stand in your authority as you're in your right. Take dominion over the powers of the enemy. Why is deliverance necessary? God has a hedge of protection around his people. Where there is sin, the hedge is broken and a demon has permission to come in. This can happen knowingly or unknowingly. This is why a regular soul check is important. This is why I personally have in place 
Uh, every year that I talk about, I do a soul check to make sure my soul is in check. I've had a lot of instances, you guys, especially, especially with people that are in a position where they consider themselves like spiritually awake, spiritually in tune, you know, have information here from the Lord. Um, I, I noticed that a lot of people get deceived, uh, mostly because of a spirit called pride, right? Have this pride of, I hear from the Lord. I, you know, the Lord speaks to me. And so, you know, you rely 100% on your dreams, on your visions, what you hear. But when you don't have a soul check, when you don't do the regular soul check to make sure your soul is in check, you have now these demonic influences that comes in. And while there was such purity, there is now contamination, but you don't know. You don't recognize it. I think it's in the book Pigs in a Parlor where the author says, you know, you have to, in order to not be deceived, you have to trust someone more than you trust yourself. And that's because you have to be in a position to, to ready to receive or ready to hear someone when they challenge, they challenge you in moments and times when you said, I hear from the Lord, the Lord has shown me, I, I, I saw it. You have to be in a position where someone can challenge you in that area. Because if you do not have this soul check, you can be influenced by demonic spirit and not know. And this is what we call or what we know as deception. Ecclesiastes 10 and 8 says, He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoever breaketh a hedge, a serpent shall bite him. The permission that a demon has to enter a person is called a legal right. Sin is the main legal right that a demon has. Both our own sin and the sins of our ancestors are legal rights for the entry of demonic forces. Demons can come down a family tree. And this is why some bad character traits are inherited. We hear all the time, we talk about, you know, bloodline breaker and all the stuff like that. Listen here. This oak is great to be a bloodline breaker. It's great to have that awareness, but you still have to be at a place where you're open and ready to receive that, hey, I'm no longer going to be affected by any demonic force in my life, okay? Exodus 20 and 5 says this, Thou shalt not bow thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. There are other legal rights, you guys, that demons have, such as curses, um, which can be inherited. You have soul ties. You have objects in our possessions that the Lord qualifies as abomination and physical or emotional trauma. Now, people don't understand physical and emotional trauma can be an open door and give the enemy legal access to torment and afflict your soul. For example, you can have a, a, a car accident. You can have a car accident, have a physical traumatic experience that can be an open door. And of course, emotional trauma. Emotional trauma, just like what we're going through in our marriage, right? You're, you are experiencing emotional trauma. And this emotional trauma has just opened up a lot of do doors in your life. You're experiencing fear, you know, you're experiencing, you know, uh, uh, certain things like unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, you know, <laughs> hatred, pride, all of these things that are caused by emotional trauma. The emotional trauma is the thing that opened the door for the enemy to come in. Now, to minister deliverance successfully, the legal right must be destroyed or taken away and the demon can be cast out in other words a demon has a right to stay in a person afflict a person torment a person molest the person's soul as long as they have a right to do so so what do you want to do you want to be free you want to move higher in god you want to grow closer to the lord without hindrance without blockages then you got to move the legal right 
Okay, why is this happening in my life? I know a lot of people are more or less whining and complaining. This isn't fair. Why does this happen to me? Why I gotta do this? Why I gotta be the one? Let me tell you something. Put an end to that. We're going into a new year, into a new season. Put an end to the whining and complaining. I just come to a place in a position where you know, say where you say to yourself, you know something. The enemy will not have me. The enemy cannot have my mind. He cannot have my will. He cannot have my emotions. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if we look at it, it isn't fair because, you know, you probably were, you know, doing the right thing, being a great person overall, and it still happened to you. Now, there are many cases where this is not the case. Now, come on now, we got to be honest. All right. Uh, It doesn't make it right. But we know that if the enemy is afflicting our lives, it had a right. Now, complete deliverance cannot be. Um, obtain in a single session of ministry, right? I know sometimes people feel as if, okay, I'm, you know, going, I'm subjecting myself to deliverance. You know, you want just you know, to, to be right as if you've gone into the doctor office. You know, he prescribed two pills, take two pills three times a day for five days. You want to take it once and then you want to be great. No, it don't happen like that. It takes time. A lot of things that is going on in your lives, it it wasn't planted there overnight. The enemy didn't just wake up and afflict you overnight. Some of this took years to to, to be planted in your lives and in your heart. It took years, childhood, you know, adolescent, adulthood. I mean, some of the things that you guys are facing, it wasn't overnight that you started to face it. It was years. And so it's going to be a process of like peeling the layers, you know, like an onion, one layer at a time, one level of demonic of in, demonic influence at a time. And eventually you're going to get to the core. You're going to get to the center. You're going to get to the place where there is complete but you gotta have patience you gotta have patience you gotta have endurance you gotta have like you 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 just gotta be that's why not giving up is stressed so much time by myself I just keep on telling you don't give up don't give up because if you don't give up that place in that position that you long to be, that place where you where you want to be, where you're no longer feeling the pain anymore. You want to be in that place where, you know, you have that, you know, overwhelming joy, peace, and happiness. It is your portion, but you got to deal with the issues that is on the inside. I know that it's easy to look on the outside. It's easy to, to, to point fingers. It's easy to do that, but we're not going to do that in this season, right? We're going to look within. We, we're going to see what is at work on the inside of us. We're going to deal with it and we're going to move forward in the things of God. Deliverance can be stopped or delayed by strongholds. Demons will enter again if the person continues in the same sin, in the same issue, the same, the same lifestyle, the same wrong belief you know, belief systems and thought pattern, it, the, the demon will come in. This is why it's so important to have, you know, a mind transformation, right? Um, not just change, but transformation, right? It is easy for many of you to change, but here is the problem of change. If you change one way, you can change back. You got to go through transformation. And I believe that, um, you know, this new thing that I'm doing, you guys, that I talked about with my mentorship, this is guaranteed to transform you. The Bible says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. A lot of people are trying to change, but a lot of people are not really subjecting themselves for transformation, right? And this isn't something I, I remember in, you know, in church, you know, my pastor was talking about change, right? When you change, you can change back. But transformation You can't change back. It's like a butterfly, right? From a caterpillar to a butterfly. When that caterpillar go in that cocoon, the whole process of becoming a butterfly is melting down every fiber of that caterpillar beam for them to emerge from a cocoon cocoon, a whole, a whole new thing, right? They go in there creeping and crawling on the on the belly and come out with wings, fly in. 
And so many of you have to go through a process of transformation. Stronghold is a place of having a strong defense, a fort, a fortified place, a place of security. Second Corinthians 10 and 4 says the weapon of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Many of you, you got some strongholds in your life. That's why there is no progression. That's why there is no ascending. I've had people say, Meltari, I thought I dealt with this, but looks like this is still a problem. Right. I, I thought I overcame this. I thought I handled this. But there is a, uh, uh, you know, you thought you take 10 steps forward. But then something happens. You get served with divorce papers. And then what happens? You take 20 steps backwards. That's because you have to deal with strongholds in your life. And let me tell you something. If I don't know what the stronghold is, Holy Spirit can tell you. But that takes a positioning. Many of you are not in a position where you hear from Holy Spirit, you know, especially with confidence. Um, and so, so, And so when we stress the importance of relationship, when you have relationship, you know, with Holy Spirit, when you have that strong spirit man, you can be like in tune where Holy Spirit can say, hey, I need you to move this. Hey, I need you to deal with this. I need you to take care of this. I need you to do that. And you're able to do that. Stronghold is translated from the Greek word called oak. Ochorama, which means a castle, a stronghold, a fortress, fastness, anything on which one relies. Many people are relying on all belief systems, right? All belief systems, all ways of thinking, all habits. And so you guys, you remember I talk about you know, fighting for your marriage is a process of learning and unlearning, right? You all remember me talking about that? The reasons, the reason why you have to go through this process of learning and unlearning, because many things that you thought you know, you would depend on those things. You will, that will always be like a place for you to fall back on. And you don't want to fall back on those, those belief systems and feelings and emotions or information that won't help you progress in your life right one of the main areas of the enemy to afflict an individual is an area of the soul the soul is the mind the will and the emotion how many of you think about like your emotions in this moment right the reason why you're not consistent in prayer. It's because of how you feel. The reason why you're at a place where you want to give up is because of how you feel. I'm feeling like this. I can't take this no more. I don't know what I can do. Right? The decisions that you make. You're trying to make the right decision, but for some reason, you still end up making the wrong decision. And then there's always have to be like, I'm sorry, I repent, I should not have done that. I probably did some things, made some decisions that I still should not have made. Your soul is that thing you want to pay attention to. That soul is what you want to purify to the Lord. That soul is that thing that you want to work on the most in this next season of your life. Your mind, and your mind is, you know, the information that you're putting putting it putting in and that's where you know that's what you're reading you know anything that that information that you're putting in your mind you want to you want to pay attention to that in this next season of your life right your emotions how you feel you can't be given in to how you feel right you all of a sudden i'm tired so you don't want to do certain things guess what you're always going to be tired but you got to push through you feel like giving up you got to push through okay so listen here you guys is self-deliverance possible as a general rule self-deliverance is possible however a covenant relationship with jesus christ as savior and lord is going to be the most important thing for you to do 
in order to have the freedom that you want. All believers have the ability to cast out devils. Matthew 10 and 8 says, Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demons. Freely you receive, freely you give. So I come to you today as a prophetic voice, Prophet Neltaria, and I am committed to helping you to walk through the next season of your life, to grow, grow closer to the Lord, to, to just re uh, reevaluate and assess your spiritual man. See where you are, see where you need to be so that you can grow, grow to higher heights, go to deeper levels than God. Because guess what? The circles that you keep running in, it's time now to go on a straight line so that you can progress, so that you can rise, so that you can ascend, so that you can grow. 2024, let's grow. Let me tell you all something. Thank you all for joining me for this power hour. Remember, you guys, if you guys are interested in joining my mentorship, I am going to post the link in the description of this video. Also, it's going to be on my YouTube community. As many of you that are under the sound of my voice, I want to urge you and I want to encourage you to be a part of this. I know, you know, you might not be, you know, feeling it. But like I said, we ain't going based on we're, what we're feeling. We know one thing that, that we want to do. And I, I want, if, you, if you're if you at a place where you say, you know what, Meltoria, I really want to grow in God. I really want to be in a better spiritual position. I really want to go higher in the things of God. I really want to give attention to my spirit, man. I really want to grow then make sure that you don't miss this opportunity. Again, you guys, thank you all for tuning in to this Power Hour. If you're joining me for the first time, you all make sure you all subscribe to the channel. Subscribe for more, more blessing, more encouragement, more empowerment. Thank you all for joining me. Until next time.